dude that's been putting in work for years, man. You've seen him on Miracle Boys, directed by Spike Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your man, this is my man. Put your hands together right now. Start clapping it up to your first comedian. For Louis Torellis, come on. I deserve a round of applause. Um, today is actually my birthday, so I'm like really happy to be here. Thank you. Did someone else said it's their birthday? Oh, happy birthday, me and you. See, actually, I kind of feel bad now that you're getting excited because it's not actually my birthday, it's actually the guy in my fake ID's birthday, but um, I think that still deserves celebrating. We could do it together. So how did y'all find out about the show? <laughs> Some guy was out on the street talking about it. That's what's up. And what, what are you drinking there? Cosmo, and you're legal to drink? All right, well, keep on drinking that because the more you drink, the more legal I will look. <laughs> I promise you that. I'm, uh, I'm half Puerto Rican and half Cuban. I don't know if you know what that, all right, yeah, one woo. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you know what that means, half Puerto Rican and half Cuban, but uh, that means half of me has a bad attitude and the other half of me is a great swimmer. Um, it's something to be proud of. The aquatic skills of a Cuban are second to none, period. Okay, and I tell y'all this because I care about you guys, but like, look, you guys, you're, you're, you're sailors, right? So, you know, you, you, I'm sure you guys have been on the boat and say, ah, oh, there goes another Cuban, <laughs> right? No, 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 if you guys ever find yourself in like a Titanic-like situation, all you need to do is look around and find the Cuban, okay? They'll turn like a floating plastic bag into a 15-man rowboat, like. <laughs> if you don't know how to find them, just hold up a green card, they'll come uh, running on water. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys realize this, but um, Cuba's number one export actually is Cubans. Um, <laughs> a lot of people think it's cigars. No, no. Seven cigars a day, three dozen Cubans a day. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Puerto Rican, which is a trip because um, being Puerto Rican isn't really clear cut. You know, if it's good or bad, there's a lot of good and bad things about being Puerto Rican, you know? This is a great thing, actually. I don't know if you guys know, but every single Puerto Rican is born being an absolute master, and I mean master, in the PlayStation game Grand Theft Auto. It's, uh, <laughs> it's innate. I was watching CNN, and they were like, you know, teenagers nowadays, they're really confused on the whole gay issue. They're really confused. And it, it's true. Like, who would be the soccer mom? And at night, who would be daddy? You know, when push came to shove, like, it's probably like a whole argument. They're like, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? <laughs> Me, I'm your daddy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, no, I'm your daddy. Whoa, 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 wait a second. You were daddy last day. Let's take out the chart. Monday, you were daddy. Tuesday, I was daddy. Wednesday, daddy. Bang, bang, bang. Fine, you can be uncle. Okay, uncle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And it's funny, my parents are always like talking crap to me. They're always like, when I was your age, music we had, like, like all that stuff. And, and it's, it's really true. Like, you guys used to have that old, like really great romantic music, right? Like here, um, like you had like, um, forgive me when I sing, I sound like Helen Keller in like a talent show, but uh, <laughs> they, had, they had music like, always and forever. Each moment with you. Right. And like these climaxes, like every day, treat me that old special way. Like these great songs. Like, like what, what do we have? Like, imagine me being on a, a date here, right? Trying to, trying to set a mood. I take my, uh, I take my nice girlfriend. She could be my girlfriend for the purposes of the joke. Yeah, she's Ethiopian, actually. Please don't judge her. <laughs> Here's it enough. <laughs> Flies out of here. No, <laughs> no, no. So anyway, so we're like uh, taking her to look out point like, hey, this is nice, right? You like this? You like this? You, you, want me to, you want me to turn the radio on? All right, all right. Did a sweat drip down my bow. All these chickens grow skeet skeet like. <laughs> what? Gonna ruin the, the mood there, little John. <laughs> when is little John gonna get laryngitis? Does anybody know? I scream for a second and I lose my voice. That man, something else. Lil John makes all sorts of annoying music, right? Remember the Whisper song that Zeke was just playing? That had to be the most obnoxious song ever, right? I remember the first time I heard that, I had like one headphone in, and I was just like, and I'm like, what? Can you can you speak up a little? Yeah, he's like, what is it? I'm like, come on, dude, I can't hear you. <laughs> Finally, I put the volume up and hear what he's talking about. Wait, do you see my dick? I'm like, whoa. Okay, I see you are whispering for a reason.
I'm going to talk about something else here that annoys me about music um, before I get out of here. It's not really music, but it's kind of related to music, so I'm still going to talk about it. And um, that's those people who think they are bosses in the arcade game Dance Dance Revolution. Do you guys, do you, do you guys know, do, that's you? Okay, like, <laughs> so good, so this is aimed for you. Um, <laughs> no, like these people, like they're, they're there, like thinking they're cool, like, hey, check this out, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> like they do tricks off the sidebar, they're like, like all this great, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, that ain't dancing. All right, one day I'm gonna respect that when I see one of these dudes in a club and they make that whole little thing practical, right? And it actually looks good, like, like Zeke, I'm gonna need you to help me out one more time here. So they go to the club with their friends, they're like, yo, guy, I'm gonna pick up some chicks tonight, you ready? Oh, this is my song, okay. Hey, hey, come here, come here. You ready, you ready? Yeah, dude, watch, watch, watch. Whoa, whoa where, where are you going? Hey, that was a four out of four foot difficulty song. Screw you. <laughs>